For those of you working with the latest versions of Adobe Premiere, you may have noticed that older projects that contain the legacy titles are going to be no longer supported. However, thankfully, Adobe have provided a slightly buggy tool to upgrade your old titles to the new format. So to give you an example, here's a title bar from an, an older project. Now, previously, you would have double clicked on the title and there's your text. Um, and then you can do any number of things to it, including animate it and all the rest. Um, this whole thing, this is what's not being supported. So what we need to know is, is there any way to upgrade them to the new format where it simply is just a text layer in your effects controls? So the first thing is find a title. And if you're upgrading all of them, it doesn't matter which title you select. Just find a title, right click on it, and then click on reveal in project and make sure it's selected here in your project window. This is my titles bin in the project window. Once you've done that, go to your graphics and then you can see you've got two options. You can either upgrade the legacy title, in other words, that specific one, or you can upgrade all of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade all of the titles in the project. And what you'll notice happening here is it doesn't delete the original ones. What it does is it creates upgraded copies of them next to the old ones um, and obviously puts them in the timeline in preference to the previous title system. So you'll notice immediately with this one that we now do have the text layer here, which means we can directly edit this on the timeline without having to double click into any other sort of sub program, if you like. Now, I did mention that there are glitches and bugs with this, and indeed there are. Um, and so to give you an idea specifically where it seems to fall foul, is where you have things like um, and these titles up here. We did actually have um, boxes underneath uh, in order to sort of make them stand out against the red, sort of like little subsections, if you like. Now, what I can do is I can put them back in. So turn off some of this text so we can see which one we're working on. So here's your text here. We're now going to do pretty much as it was before. And then what we need to do is move that underneath. And sadly, you'll need to do that, it would seem, for everyone. So please bear in mind, putting backgrounds, um, any backgrounds that you have put on there will not come across. It'll simply be the new text layer. And the other slight issue I've learned with this is that if you supposingly animate, say this title here this particular one flies in um, from the left or the right the keyframe for that bit of animation gets put way along the timeline um, so often what it means is extending the length of all these to find the keyframes and then move them all back to the front or, or wherever they initially um, were which is quite aggravating so i suppose the good news is that at least you don't have to you don't have to remember all the text that you type for all the, you know, for all the titles that will still be there. But if you've done anything with animations or anything like that, or if you've used the graduation tool, the four point graduation, stuff like that within the old titling system, you will pretty much have to rebuild that. Now, if anybody knows um, a solution to that, please speak up. Um, as far as I'm aware, I couldn't find anything on this, but that could just be me.